Hey everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the must know C++ features for any kind of software development. It can be open source or commercial software development. I'm going to divide the C++ features that you must know into two parts, the basic and the advanced. And we're going to go through each one of them one by one. So first let's come to the basic part. On a basic C++ features, you must know pointers and references. Const references are also very important to understand. The second thing is classes and object models. Since C++ is an object-oriented pro programming language, it's important to understand how the classes and objects in C++ work. You must also know the different kinds of constructors, parameterized, copy constructor, the assignment operator, which go in every class. Then you must know inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation. These three things are really important in OOPS. Uh, and you must know the virtual functions and VPTR table, which implement these uh, uh, features in C++. You must know templates and you must know exceptions. So for any software development project, you are assumed to know these basic things. So let's move on to the advanced section uh, where we discuss about other technologies in C++, uh, which you must know. Out of this, STL and C++11 is a must know. The other three, which is C++14, Boost, and Multithreading are optional. Let's go into each one of them one by one. So STL stands for the Standard Template Library. It's one of the most important and famous libraries of C++. It mostly contains containers, which are highly optimized data structures, uh, iterators, which help us iterate through every element in this data structure, in this container, Algorithms such as sort or search or find, which will help you perform common tasks in an optimized manner, and functors. The a few containers which you must be aware of is vectors, which are dynamically sized arrays, a map, which is an associative container. Uh, which is based on uh, a hash table for an unordered map and a binary search tree in case of a map. Set is also an associative container which uh, keeps a set of unique elements in a data structure. Uh, there's an unordered version for set as well. Forward list which is a singly linked list. Iterators help us iterate through all the elements of a container uh, in an easy fashion. So we've discussed what are the important things in STL that you must know. Let's move on to C++11. C++11 has uh, been supported in many compilers right now, though the latest version of C++ is C++17, but it's going to take some time before we reach that stage where all its features are supported in the different compilers. So as of now, it's important that you know C++11 because going forward, most development will use these uh, latest features. Uh, auto and null pointer are one of the simplest uh, features which have been supported, uh, which are very powerful and yet very simple. Range-based for loops help us iterate through elements in a uh, in a container or in a uh, in a list in a fashion similar to how Python does it or many other languages do. Lambda expressions are yet another powerful feature. Smart pointers help in the memory allocation and uh, uh, deallocation uh, in a smart fashion and these are really important uh, in C++11. And the last thing is move semantics as a move constructor which has been added and uh, it's good to know the concepts involved uh, in the move uh, constructor. Beyond this, 
as i said before c++ 14 boost and multi threading uh, is something you must learn if your project entails and requires that you know about it otherwise you can leave it for now plus plus is a huge language in fact any programming language has a lot of things and uh, especially c++ is an exceptionally uh, huge and complicated language which is why uh, you it's impossible to know all the features and all the libraries uh, that's why it's important to have a growth mindset where you have the willingness to learn and uh, you should be uh, ready to learn on the go and all the concepts that you require to understand that particular code base uh, or a project in the end i would say one of the most important aspects of contributing to a c++, uh, c++ uh, software development project would be uh, an awareness of how that particular development environment uh, works whether it's eclipse visual studio or something else uh, you must be comfortable using your ide and uh, how to debug the code base it will help you understand the code base better that's all i have for this video please hit like if you like this video uh, subscribe to our channel and if you have any suggestions or questions leave them out in the comments area or you can even email it to us thank you guys for listening to this video